Good evening, everyone, and thank you for coming to Deb Chanel's 48th World, where we do Celebrity Corner News. Okay, guys, just got this information in. It's hot, hot, hot. Um, the artist or entertainer that I'm going to be talking about that's in the news today April 19, 2016, is Phaedra Parks. You guys know her from Real Housewives of Atlanta, uh, the civil lawyer here or criminal no uh, criminal lawyer here in Atlanta, Georgia, uh, the wife of Apollo Nadia, Nadia uh, and uh, I'm getting my information from CentricTV.com if you want to go and uh, get some news, entertainment news on any given day, or just to research my story that I'm putting out to you all. But I will put it also the information where this information derived from. But it came from www.centricctv.com. And they're featuring Phaedra, Pro uh, Phaedra Parks and Apollo Nada. Uh, Let's see here. Let's see what I got my thing here. Got it scrolling, scrolling, scrolling. Okay, here we go. It is saying the Real Housewives of Atlanta star faces Angela Stanton over claims she was involved in illegal activity with her exchange estranged husband. Okay, guys, it also goes on to say why her husband, Apollo Nada, serves eight years sentence for fraud. The Real Housewives of Atlanta star, Phaedra Park, is set to face a judge of her own regarding the same fraudulent type behavior that her husband was involved in. Um, it says Parks is currently involved in a lawsuit against Arthur Angela Stanton who claimed the reality star oversaw a criminal enterprise with Nadia Apollo, okay, her husband, which allegedly included fake bank accounts, phony checks, and stolen cars. And if you guys remember, she was floating around in some pretty nice automobiles. I don't know if they were leased and just for a show when she was filming her uh, episodes with the Real Housewives of Atlanta. But when she was meeting Apollo at uh, clandestine type restaurants that were very pricey here in Atlanta. You know, just touring around with him. She was, you know, being escorted and sometimes driving herself in some nice vehicles that she do not own uh, from what she's showing us since, you know, Apollo had been sentenced to his prison term. But anyway, it goes on to say, Staten also claimed that Parks, 44, had a secret girlfriend. Okay, so you trying to say Phaedra is bisexual too. The story just keeps compiling people, even when their season or episode is our, well, their season has, you know, uh, completed itself. And we don't know if they're getting, a, uh, you know, another season because they didn't express it when they had the reunions. Okay, the three part reunion at that. Go figure. Okay. It says, Stanton also claims that Parks 44 had a secret girlfriend and was into freaky sex, according to RadarOnline.com. And that's Radar, R-A-D-A-R-O-N-L-I-N-E.com. Apollo Nada is moved to maximum security. Now, you remember I told you I did a story on him uh, where somebody, a family member or friend came to visit him and they brought him in uh, a cell phone. So he was using it while he was behind bars when he know that was a no-no up in Fort Dix. Like, what, really? And I wouldn't be surprised if Phaedra was the one that brought him the cell phone, okay? Because shortly after that, it seems like he got moved to maximum security, okay? But anyway, uh, Park slapped Staten, Stanton with a defamation lawsuit. Defamation of character is when you're trying to basically call somebody out there uh, name, you're trying to slander them, you're trying to wreck their character or the essence of who they are. Um, back in 2012, but was later hit back with a counterclaim. So they both saying the same thing about each other. They're dragging each other through the mud, pretty much. The women may soon face each other in court. This week, if a judge denies Park's judgment to, to 
uh, to dismiss the counter lawsuit. Okay. Though Parks have long been suspected of being involved in her husband's illegal activity, the entertainment attorney has categor categor uh, categorically denied any involvement. All right. Entertainment. Okay, attorney. And ain't winning no cases because I know she was supposed to have been handling Cherise Whitfield's case. She lost it. She lost the case with... um. Who was that other person? I think Derek. Um, Derek J. She lost that one. And who else did she have a case with? Yeah, she don't lost so many that you know I can't really say. But anyway, she is in Atlanta. I think I said initially she was a civil criminal case lawyer, but she's an entertainment lawyer. Well, I guess she handles the paperwork for them when they're getting into different business adventures or somebody's is suing them for whatever. But like I said, she don't have a good track record, um, basically. Uh, you know how it is. You know how it is, you know. But anyway, that's pretty much all I have for you guys. I just wanted to break the story to y'all. Uh, it's not saying that it's rumored. So she does have a case pending to face Angela Stanton about some alleged, you know, um, involvement phaedra has had with her so we just have to look and see and see if any other information come up on her but y'all that's what was my um celebrity corner entertainment news that i told you i would definitely bring out to you when something strikes me as unusual and it's something that i feel i want to follow i will bring it to you with images so when something else turns up on this story i'll come back to you but if anything else come up on another entertainer and i feel i need to tell my um viewers or follow followers to my channel or like i like to call uh you all my gifts of gabs i'll let you know but again that story that celebrity corner story was on phaedra parks and apollo nada and the fraudulent activity they have had in their past and Angela Stanton as well as Phaedra Parks will be joining each other in court very soon possibly even this week okay so you guys take care that was for April 19 2016 enjoy it pray about it pray for whomever you want to pray for in the situation I'm just gonna basically pray for the well, pray for the children because that's a shame if they find phaedra phaedra fraudulent she going to jail and then who are they gonna have to be raised by the grandmama because i ain't heard nothing really about uh apollo's um um uh, siblings or you know mother father you know it wasn't made for TV, I guess, but we know the mothers, uh, phaedra's mothers there but i don't think her health is in too good of a shape to be calling her to take care of those two small boys so let's keep them all in our prayers uh especially the little babies uh dylan and uh aiden and hope for the best hope for the best people because that is a messed up situation two parents one parent in jail one possibly may go to jail oh that's not looking good but anyway be blessed stay encouraged and i'll talk to you guys real soon take care Bye bye